I'm not much of a 3D printer channel or really a very targeted channel at all really. I like to talk and I don't get to do it that much so I do it here. Uh, so, but I'm going to talk about my 3D printer today because I happen to like my 3D printer. It's a lot of fun. It gives me a creative outlet that doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Um, I have an Ender 3 Pro. It is a cheapy, yes, yep, yep, yep. But that's fine. I didn't have the money to put on a bigger unit, and I've done okay with what I've got. So today, I decided to upgrade the Bowden tube. And for those of you who do not know, a Bowden tube is a tube that goes between the the uh, the stepper that drives the extruder. So that's the little motor that pushes the filament through, uh, or the little tube that the motor pushes the filament through to get to the hot end. All right, so here's the original one. And um, I chose to replace it because it's got a great big old hole. And here is the filament going into that hole, which you may not think, oh, it's not all that loose. Whoops. And I'm having trouble doing this one handed. I should have grabbed my clamp. Well, part of the problem is that this thing is warped, so. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I upgraded the tube. There we go. And you can see that gap in there. See, it's just kind of floppy in there. And you wouldn't think that makes much of a difference, but it kind of does. Um, because it has to travel through that length of tube the whole way, and what it wants to, the filament just wants to go the path of least resistance, which is a bend. So you would get kind of like, um, little spots that would, the filament would make it into while you were heating it up. So here's the new tubing. This is made by a company called Capricorn, apparently. And it costs quite a bit for tubing. There we go. But the filament fits, like, perfectly in there. Look at that. And it came with a sticker and a little guillotine cutter thing. That looks like it would be good for taking care of your ex-boyfriend if you've got a boyfriend. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And it came with a couple of pneumatic tube fittings. That's what these are. Uh, for airlines and such, which is what this tubing is typically used for. And I wasn't super impressed with these. Actually, the original one that came from my Ender is this guy here. And you can see it's gotten pretty grunged up from being heated up and used a lot. And as did the end of my tube. You can't tell too much now, but it's actually like sticky right there. Um, not quite sure what caused that because this is PTFE so it's pretty resilient material but the constant pressure on the inside chewed up the tubing and that's the pneumatic fittings chew it up a little bit but it's never that much so so yeah I replaced it and I guess I'll uh, See how that does soon. I would like to try to print some TPU eventually, and I'm not sure if I can do that with my current setup. I may have to uh, do a direct drive, and um, if I do that, hell, I'll talk about it. I may not do it though. But that's it. Then I would recommend doing that because the difference so far is that there are less gaps in my prints. So, like this little doodad here. Um, you can see the occasional gap in the print. And that was literally this filament was bending inside of the nozzle instead of extruding. And uh, actually this is a this is a torque driver, a torque screwdriver. And actually you find it on uh, Thingiverse. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, but... I doubt P uh, PLA is not really that great of a print for this. It's actually designed for PETG, um, though I'm just going to print the internals with PETG, and we'll see how that goes. But um, it actually works. Um, it's right at 
five newton meters. So it, it does work. It's pretty cool. That's it. Good night.